everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another Lighting the Way card for you. This is the third project on my blog today. I'm featuring the Lighting the Way uh, bundle for Facebook Friday, and I've also got two bonus projects for you. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go over there for those ideas, supply lists, and measurements. This is an easel card, as you can see. Um, it lays down flat, and then you open it up like that. And you can see it says, thanks for lighting the way. You are all kinds of wonderful. All right, we're going to make this card. It's not too terribly hard, but it does have quite a bit of stamping. So let's do our stamping first. This um, set has several lightning bugs that are just the cutest. I'm going to stamp them in starry sky. I'm going to do two big ones. Let's do two medium ones. Actually, let's do three. I kind of like the medium ones a little bit better. The small ones are really small. And that one right there. Now, it also has this several little circles that you can use to stamp their little behinds, their light up ends. Okay, so I'm just going to use Daffodil Delight all the way down. Okay, now we're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm just going to cut the sentiment in a strip. So I'm just going to do it here at the bottom of my paper like this. Thanks for lighting the way. All right, we're gonna use the dies to cut those out. We're also going to use the die to cut a uh, piece of our uh, brush metallic cardstock to, for our lantern. All right, let's bring that over and I'll get all of these cut out. sentiment we're just gonna slice that piece of paper so that we have a skinny strip like that and I'm gonna take my scissors and just kind of cut it at an angle on both ends all right we've got all of our pieces cut out now you're gonna need to get my dies out of the way so we don't lose them you're going to need a piece of Highland Heather that is four by five and a fourth. Then you're going to need two pieces of Enjoy the Journey Designer Series paper. This was free paper you could get during celebration. And I'm actually seeing that mine are a little bit too long, so let's trim them down. Um, if you didn't get them during celebration, they're still available in the spring catalog, this paper. These strips need to be four by about one and a fourth. All right, and we're gonna adhere them right here on either side. A little starry sky. Okay, and then we'll do this one here. All right, the next piece you need is two and three fourths by eight and a half. And we're gonna adhere it right here like this and it's gonna fold down, and you're gonna, you wanna uh, score it at four and a fourth and two and an eighth, and then it's gonna fold up like that. Put lots of adhesive so it doesn't come up. I'm just gonna adhere that right in the middle, overlapping those pieces of DSP. All right, so it's gonna come up like that. All right, for our front piece, I'm gonna take this piece, which is the same size, two and three fourths by four and a fourth, and I'm gonna adhere it to this part right here like that. All right, but before we do that, we need to make that little mountain. And what I'm gonna do is just take my scissors, let me get a better pair of scissors. Those are kind of gunky. And on the back side, there are some mountains and I'm just gonna follow those mountains like that, all right? And after you've cut that piece, whoops, 
After you've cut that piece off, you're gonna take this piece and put it here. And I've got one more piece of that night sky to go like that. So it looks like we've got a mountain in the background of our night sky. So put that down and put this one down on top of it like that. Okay, now put adhesive right here, only on the bottom section of this front part. And we're gonna lay that down on top like that. And then it's gonna open like that, All right? So let's see if you can see from the side how I did that. Perfect. Now I've got a piece of basic white that I'm gonna put on the inside. All of the measurements for this are on a PDF on my blog, so make sure you jump over there and grab them. Now, we need to put something here on the inside to grab that so it will it will uh, catch. So I'm gonna take, let's take the little swish, I guess you could call it, swish stamp, and I'm gonna do a little bit like that. And we'll do a little bit like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a couple of my little um, fireflies, I keep wanting to call them dragonflies, and I'm gonna put this one right here so that it will catch that and hold it. All right. Now this teeny tiny one, it's just so tiny. I have a hard time keeping up with it. We'll put that one on a dimensional two, right there. And I like to have them flying different directions. So we're gonna have him kind of going that way. All right, now let's put our lantern on the top. Now we need a little bit of a glow for our lantern. So grab your white cardstock. And I'm gonna use my blending brush and some Daffodil Delight ink. And then I'm gonna use a punch. If you don't have a circle punch, you can use your circle dies. This one is one and three eighths. All right, I'm also gonna add some Wink of Stella behind there, or on there, so it'll be behind our lantern. And then we're gonna adhere that right um, right behind our lantern. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right here and right here okay and we're gonna lay that down on there pick that up and now i'm gonna get my dimensionals again and you can kind of sandwich that there so it'll hold that that lant or that circle in as well and we'll put that right there in the middle. Now here's my sentiment, and I'm just gonna put this across the bottom of our lantern. Let's do it maybe a little bit lower like that. And then we've got some more of our cute little fireflies. We'll put one here. Let's put one here, because it looks like my glue is squishing out a little bit, so we'll just cover that up. So I can get my dimensionals to stick. You know what, let's use the Take Your Pick tool. That's gonna help put that one there. We'll put one up here, like that. And maybe I've got one large one left. We'll do that one over here. Going that way. Oh, so fun. Now we're gonna take a piece of this um, ribbon, natural finish ribbon is what it's called. And I'm just gonna cut off a piece. I'm gonna cut off the edges. Cut off the edges on this side. And take that end. Boy, I've got things sticking to me. That glue is mighty strong, mighty powerful. Fold that through there. 
Then take your linen thread and we're gonna tie it together. I'm gonna to use my um, block here to hold my ribbon down, make it a little bit easier. And we'll tie this right around there. Okay, and then we can just tighten that up like that. Snip off those ends. And now we need to stamp one more thing on the inside of our card. We're gonna do the other sentiment that says, you are all kinds of wonderful. We're gonna do that right there. Let's add some Wink of Stella to all of our little fireflies. All right, last but not least, let's add some iridescent pearls, give our little night sky, little bright sparkly stars. And that is it. You guys, a really fun card, big wow factor, something that I'm sure the recipient will love to display on their shelf, just beautiful. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop back to my blog for that free PDF and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.